So I'm Nick from ViaEngines.com. I'm just going to show you how to set up the remote control choke on your Via 7 or 6 model because it has this Tillotson carburetor. I've just loosely attached this up here with the air filter on. You can see this is an original old model. I've refurbished this. Um, but what's important is it has um, no big long lever here. It has some small holes in an adjustable short lever on here. It means you can change the angle of this lever to however you want it. Now normally on an engine you have this bracket which holds I call these quadrants and so your cable from upstairs comes and controls this and you have a wire connected between the two so this will operate the choke and this one connected to the throttle lever. So this allows you to pull the choke on without opening up the engine. Now, the new carburetors have a different sort of lever. And as you can see, the new carburetor comes with a longer lever, which is a lot easier to operate by hand. But it, you can't change the angle of this. You can't spin this round. And it goes up and about 40 degrees down. So the difficulty is if you have this system which pulls this up and down only this will get jammed because when the cable pulls it up it can't push it down now there is two solutions to this either I can fit the older style shaft onto a new carburetor so you'd want um, uh, a shaft like this instead of this I can change these pieces around or what I've seen some people do is instead of having the operating bracket here, they'll fit a bracket to the bolt on the air housing so that it operates at a more favourable angle for that long lever. This means changing the way that the, the thing comes in. Um, so those are your two basic options. The other thing I'd like to point out, if you have a stranded choke cable like this, okay, it would have something like this as the bracket on the engine. This is a clamp piece for the outer part of the cable and then it would go up and down. You might have a spring in between the two. Um, but on this one, this is for Morse cables. But this is what you might commonly have, it's a stranded cable. Now in order to attach the stranded cable to the choke lever, you need something on here. Um, which will connect in this little hole and what I suggest if you get a piece of terminal block I'll just show you if you get a piece of terminal block like this you'll see inside there are brass screws and you can take these out slide the piece out and then you will find that the screw if you take this lever off can go through and then you can put your cable inner into the hole, tighten it up while this lever is in position like this. This is one way of attaching a stranded cable to these old levers. The other way I've seen is don't use a steel stranded cable, but use the one supplied by Via, which are stainless steel and they're solid core. And what you do then is you bend, I won't ruin this one, but you bend a crank like an S shape and you post it through the hole and out and if you put the bends in the right way it will be just where you need it and it will be able to move this up and down without any additional parts. So your options are when you order a carburetor from me you either have the old style um, adjustable lever or you have the new style non-adjustable lever because the choke is only used um, when the engine is cold and then only for about five or ten seconds really is it worth putting a cable in if you have easy access to your engine um, I would suggest that the manual choke is easier and it's the modern way to go and also you probably have to open up your engine compartment anyway because you're going to turn the seacock off when the engines not in use and on again when it is so Unless you are taking the risk of leaving your seacock on all the time, you probably want to open up your engine 
to use the seacock and maybe to prime the fuel with the squeezy valve and uh, why not put the choke on until it's running as well so I don't really think that these remote controls were such a brilliant idea but those are your options so you've got the short adjustable lever or the fixed longer one and you see this goes at two different angles open that's the choke choke is on and then down the choke is off with this one you can adjust it so it's 45 degrees the choke is on and 45 degrees down the choke is off those are two types please uh, if you want any more information have a look at my website viaengines.com on there you should see refurbished carburetors with the old style short adjustable lever and refurbished or new carburetors with the modern long fixed lever choke. Thanks very much for watching.